How do you deal with big gaps beneath a door? I already did a video on little gaps in the corners. Those are easy. But sometimes you have a door with big gaps all the way across. There are a handful of products out there that really help resolve this issue. That's what I'm talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. And I'll even show you how to install two of the best, most versatile types. So big gaps beneath the door are the result of the door slab sitting too far away from the threshold or floor. We actually want this to happen. A door won't shut or open if the two are heavily in contact with one another. Instead, we want other softer surfaces to connect at the threshold level and seal the gap with less pressure. We call these door sweeps and they come in a lot of varieties. Most new exterior doors will have a threshold with a rubber or vinyl bubble strip and a soft vinyl sweep on the underside of the door. The two mate together lightly when the door is shut. Some of these vinyl undermount sweeps screw into the underside of the door. So you need to take the door off to change these out, which is a pain. My front door is like this. But others have Stanley type sweeps. These have two hard fins on the back and these fins slot into grooves on the underside of the door. To fix these, you just pry the old one out. Then cut the new one to the right length and press it into the slots. That's it. Sometimes you have to trim the little fins so that they match the old fins, but that's easily done with a utility knife. These types of sweeps are very common in newer doors. There are also larger L-shaped thresholds that screw onto the door interior and wrap underneath the door. Or there are U-shaped sweeps that slide onto the whole bottom edge like a clamp and can be adjusted up and down for friction. Those can all be helpful, but I think the best and most versatile basic type of sweep is the aluminum and vinyl flange. These semi-rigid sweeps simply mount to the lower face of your door, contact the floor or threshold, and create a gentle seal. You can mount them to almost any door quickly and easily. The steel door to my shop had this huge light gap. It never had a threshold, and I didn't want to add one because I want to be able to drag and roll things straight out. It's a perfect place for the flange sweep. To install one, I just marked the jam locations on the door slab with a pencil, then measured the space between the marks carefully. I transferred this measurement to the aluminum flange and made a straight line at the mark with a combo square. Then I clamped the sweep to my work table and carefully cut the aluminum with a hacksaw. This is delicate and takes a bunch of strokes. Eventually the aluminum layers give way. The vinyl flange can easily be cut with just a utility knife. Keep in mind, some people make two cuts to keep the hole symmetrical, but I don't care about that in the shop. With the door closed, I push the sweep against the door bottom. I press down firmly until the vinyl flexes and the light gaps vanish. Then I mark the screw positions with a pencil. These are slot shaped so you can adjust the sweep later. For that reason, you want to drill in the center of the slot, leaving vertical slack. I use titanium drill bits to bore holes in this steel door. Wood doors are obviously much easier to pre-drill, but steel can be drilled slowly with pressure. Also, the supplied screws are really for wood or vinyl doors. They wouldn't work for my steel door. So I used one inch self-tapping screws to attach the sweep. They're big and unsightly, but the cutter head bored right through the pre-drilled holes. I gave them just enough pressure to bite down. This one strip mostly worked. The door opened and closed with just a little stiffness. That's what you want. But I still had these light gaps at the edges from the uneven slab. For a solution, I just attached another flange sweep to the outside. I made this one longer because there was no jam out here. And I left the vinyl sweep slightly longer than the aluminum. Not pretty, but look, no light gap whatsoever after that. The door is stiff, but still functions just fine. Now it also keeps out light, bugs, water, air, and even some sound. Problem solved. That's it, that's how you attach aluminum and vinyl flange sweeps. As I said, I love them because they're so versatile. They can go anywhere on any door thickness. If you have a threshold, just press them down to the threshold. Also, they're really affordable, typically just about $10 a unit. They cut down on a really annoying problem with minimal cost and effort. I'll link some below if I can find them, as well as other types. Feel free to browse those links, and remember that we receive a tiny commission on whatever you buy at no extra charge to you. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming up soon, and please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.